Some more ideas based on triad shapes. Um, here's an A major triad. Here's an A major triad. And here's the A major triad. Um, so we've got options for creating parts of those triads, uh, bending the second up to the third. And that gives us these two notes. Bending the flat seven up to the root. So when we bend that up, it gives us these two notes of the triad. When we release it, it gives us these two notes of the seventh chord. And then when we come down here, we can bend the um, ninth or, or second up to the third chord. So we could bend, so we're essentially playing that. We also could play the uh, third and fifth like this. Again, my intonation is off because I don't practice this enough. So some vibrato helps me cheat. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to connect those, you've got some of these other stops along the way. Um, now whenever I play that, those two notes are the fifth and seventh of an A uh, dominant seven chord. So we've got all of those spots, and that puts me in position to make to do this bend. So you can kind of see the parts of the triad and the seventh chord. We've got third and root here. We've got fifth and seventh here. We've got third, seventh, fifth. And here's a root up here. And then we've got root third fifth here. So you can connect all of those. So if we were to put, um, let's, let's uh, think in terms of one, four, five. We've got a one chord here in key of A. Here's our four chord. Here's our five chord. Here's one. Here's four. Here's five. And we could go back to our one here. So we've got all of those possibilities. So if I'm playing over the one chord, and then I've got the four, five, four, here's one, five, that's four. My one. There's four, five. Pretty sloppy, but you get the idea.